traveling China, our next stop was Nepal. The capital, Kathmandu, our first stop. The first thing we noticed were the vibrant colors and the crowds. After our shocking introduction though, we soon noticed how delicious the vegetarian food was and how friendly the people were. One of our most delicious meals is here, costing us only a dollar for both of us to eat. The most delicious food we've had in Nepal so far. Delicious. <laughs> Even in a huge city like Kathmandu, the people are always super friendly and willing to help, or sometimes ask for a bit of change. Hi. Oh. 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 <laughs> you fly kite? Where's yours? <laughs> if you want to pick, can you take a picture of it? <laughs> Monkeys are everywhere. They use the power lines as highways and they'll steal from you, so beware. They stole a couple oranges from Nala and I. Wait, wait, wait. They robbed me. <laughs> Be careful. The spiritual sites were the main reason Nala and I went to Nepal, and they didn't disappoint us. First stop, Monkey Temple. We were lucky to see a puja or group prayer taking place. Spiritual activities are taking place all over the city as well. Buddha Stupa is the biggest stupa in the world. Kathmandu has a huge Tibetan community and you'll see many Tibetans making their rounds around it, making spiritual wishes for this life. Although most Nepali are Hindu, they still pay homage and respect to the Buddha, seeing him as a great spiritual teacher. Om Namo Manjushri, Namo Sushri, Namo Uttamashi Soha. Om Namo Manjushri, Namo Sushri, Namo Uttamashi Soha. Om Namo Manjushri, Namo Sushri, 
Namah Utamashi Yesoha.